Hey there, Virgo. Let's talk about what February 2024 has in store for you astrologically. And it's an interesting time, right? Because this is the month that is your full moon. So things are going to be reaching ahead. Things are going to be reaching ahead for you because we have one full moon a year where things really culminate and come to the surface and say, this is what needs to be let go in order for us to move forward and whatever that might be. So your full moon happens on February 24th, but the energy really surfaces throughout the month, really shining a light on what it is that you do need to let go of. We have the fast moving planets, right? In Aquarius, moving through um, your sixth house, which you naturally rule anyway in astrology. This is where it's really shining a light, right, on your health, where you're at, where your thoughts, right, because you're ruled by Mercury, where your thoughts create your reality, where your thoughts may be creating physical issues as well, especially if you're having stomach issues because Virgo was notoriously known for overanalyzing. You have a beautiful gift to analyze better than any other sign in the zodiac, but I tell you what, the overanalyzing is known to cause stomach issues. It causes ulcers. It causes problems. And that's just because Virgo rules that area. So if you find that that's the issue, it's because you're overlooking into things. And maybe in this time frame, as these fast-moving planets move through that sixth house, it's going to show you where that connection can be made. Now, another thing too it also might be asking you where that overanalytical energy may be making you overly critical of yourself. Maybe you're beating yourself up too much, but it could be the flip side. Are you being overly critical of others in your life as well too? Are you frustrated and you want to make changes, but it's constantly them, them, them? Are you overanalyzing them? Are you being overly critical of the decisions they make? Time about conversation, right? You're ruled by Mercury. And now that it's going through into this area too. Mercury is going through Aquarius. Venus, the planet of love and money is going through Aquarius. These things are all in that sixth house of yours. Mars also is going through there where it hasn't been for two years. And that gives us the confidence to say something, right? That gives us the confidence and courage to make those changes, especially on February 14th, because that is where Mars, that planet that makes us do what we do, because it gives us energy, it aligns with Pluto, the planet of change and transformation. Now, when those two align, we have that push to make change. It gives us the confidence to say what we need to make those changes. It gives us the confidence to do what we need to make those changes. So whether that's diet, whether that's exercise, whether that's um, saying, hey, I don't want to shoulder these burdens anymore in relationship or at work, right? Because sixth house deals with our daily day-to-day -day job. So you may be finding that this is a time frame, right? Where that new moon that happens on February 9th, just before all of that energy comes to a head, that might be the time where you really want to manifest new beginnings in work, whether that's a new job, a promotion. Maybe you just want to make, see some new energy happen. That's when you put it out to the universe is in the new moon phase. And for you, that one time a year, that is this the that is this coming uh, February 9th, right? Put out there what it is you want to see change, right? Absolutely. So, Virgo, um, now with that full moon, we talked about that. This is great, right? This is huge for you because all these things surface, right? And so on February 24th, where that full moon happens is in your first house. It is all about you. It's what makes you happy. This is where that light has been shining all month, really. Well, probably longer than that. <laughs> on what does need to change. And at the full moon, that's when things reach their height. That's where things reach the conclusion and the apex. That's where we let things go. So you will be aware, right? There are billboards from the universe that come at that time frame on what it is that needs to be let go, whether it's the outdated belief, whether, whether it's the overanalyzation. There's so many different things that come up at that time frame, but you will know what it is that needs to be wrapped up for you so that you can move forward in this coming year. There's so much energy that's getting ready to come in next year and the following year as we go through these Virgo eclipses that you haven't seen in 10 years. They're ready to bring you new energy. But in order for the new, we got to let go of the old, right? And so this is one of those full moons that brings to light what needs to be swept away to bring these new beginnings in, right? Absolutely. Well, my Virgo friends, enjoy your February and thank you so much for watching.